The mysteries surrounding Nan Maduo. Located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, between the equator and the 11th parallel, lies the ancient mysterious city of Nan Maduo. This beautiful city is attached to the eastern coast of the island of Pompeii and it's considered to be one of the greatest archaeological wonders of the world. This beautiful city is also considered a mysterious engineering marvel and even experts are also baffled by the mystery surrounding the island. In today's video, we will be looking at the mysteries surrounding this ancient city and also the history of this magical place. Watch this video to the end as these mysteries would blow your mind away. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Let's dig in! The City of Nan Madul Nan Madul is part of the Federated States of Micronesia. It comprises a vast tapestry of 92 artificial made islets, all interconnected by canals. These canals have earned the magical city several names, some of which are Venice of the Pacific and the Eighth Wonder of the World. The royal family, also known as Sadoleurs, lived in Madul for about 500 years from 1100 to 1600 AD. The island is also occupied by tombs. The mystery surrounding this island is the megalithic structures that make up the city and the walls are constructed primarily with basalt blocks, which are a type of volcanic rock. Some areas in Pompeii have naturally occurring deposits of columnar basalt where volcanic lava cooled in the form of vertical pillars. Giant blocks had to be moved from miles away in Pompeii and were stacked horizontally on Medul to form a log cabin style, which was as high as 50 feet and up to 17 feet thick, and this is what made the city so amazing. The mystery of how Nan Madul was built. Each stone used in the building of the city was weighed at an average of 5 tons, and some weighed as much as 25 tons each. The columns and stones are so heavy that mainstream scholars still find it hard to believe the city was built with such stones, or how it was built, and who built them. No technology has been identified on the island that can explain how the logs were hoisted up. Some experts say that the massive effort that was required to build the megalithic structure rivals that of the pyramids, and may have probably required the entire inhabitants of the island, which was around 25,000, to participate and build it. Legends of the Ancient City Nan Madul means between spaces and it definitely lives up to its nickname as it does seem to be lodged between truth and myth. Oftentimes what myth can explain mainstream scholars cannot. Legend has it that ruins of the ancient city, which was once home to mysterious civilization, are very much abound with uncharged corridors. These channels not only connected to man-made islets, but also possesses tombs containing the remains of giants and spirits of the dead king. The locals also believe that magic was used to transport the stones to the island. In a TV series titled Ancient Aliens, they discuss the legends and theories surrounding Nan Madul. Local legend says that Madul was there before the islanders even arrived to settle there. The islanders are clueless as to who built it, but they do say that the stones in a way somehow levitated from Pompeii and moved as if by a ghost's hand. This is the reason why the locals call it Madul which means the city of ghosts. But a scientific theory suggested that the stones were actually brought from the mainland using bamboo rafts to float them across the water. 
However, in 1995, Discovery Channel, while making a documentary movie, tried all methods to attempt to transport the stones, weighing more than a ton, in this fashion of using bamboo rafts, but failed. Obstacles to the research of Nan Madul So far, with research on this city, no written records of the island's history exist, and it has been kept alive by oral tradition only. The local practice of keeping secrets is considered a sacred one. This became one of the obstacles to learning more about the history of Nan Madul. Also, the local king, Nam Varki, proclaimed to the inhabitants of the land, saying, to disrupt the holy grounds that once belonged to the past with supernatural powers would be seen as breaking the law. In fact, he went as far as threatening the English archaeologist F.W. Christian with capital punishment should he break the law and dig. Jewelry and many other artifacts that were buried with the chief were plundered. Only a handful of artifacts are remaining for archaeologists to study. And even if they did find any, there was a possibility that they would have faced the curse, which was said to be cast upon those who violate the island. In 1874, a shipwreck near the Marshall Islands took and buried in the oceans hundreds of crates that belonged to Polish anthropologist Jan Gubari, and with it went much of the history of the island. Nan Madul's Curse Germans governed the island in the early 20th century, when Governor Victor Berg dared to disregard the local ban. He went ahead to enter the sealed tomb on the island and opened the coffin of the ancient island rulers. Inside it, he found the skeletal remains of giants, measuring two to three meters tall. That very night, the island was alive with spiritual activity. There was a wild storm that came with lightning flashes in the sky, and torrential rains pounded the islands as Governor Victor Berg lay in delirium, while hearing the sound of the conch shell blowing. The following morning, which was April 30th, 1907, Governor Berg died. The German physician that was serving on the island at that time couldn't determine the cause of the death of the governor. But the natives were quite certain that this death was a curse from the gods for his blatant disrespect. However, today's rational says that he died of sunstroke and also heat exhaustion, which he most likely had contracted while surveying the ruins of the island. The question that has puzzled scientists is why would someone build a city on coral reefs that rise only five feet above water? There was no sign of food or water available on the island, and the rulers had to depend on commoners to bring them whatever they needed. What was the actual purpose of Nan Madul? We may never know. Theory for the existence of the mysterious structures since there's really no explanation on how the structures in Nan Madul were built, there are theories, however, surrounding its structures. A very intriguing theory that may answer the numerous questions about the mysterious city of Nan Madul and the actual purpose of its existence says that since Madul sits half between the Hawaiian Islands and the Philippine Islands, severe storms and typhoons always began in this location. This happens when cold air comes into contact with the warm waters of the Caroline Islands. Research has shown that many severe storms actually originated from the Nan Madul location. Perhaps this might not be coincidental, because this area actually generates severe storms, but the generated storms rarely hit it directly. This makes it the safest place in the Pacific. Kosrai, an island quite similar to Madul, and Nan Madul create a 300-mile-long zone. This zone is not only the birthplace of typhoons, but also the place where they develop their strength and severity. These typhoons soon grow too big and end up ravishing the Philippines. 
tumaas yung baha. Fringe Theories Joseph Newman, the inventor of the energy machine, declared late in the last century that the major effect in respect to hurricanes is electromagnetic and for a hurricane to sustain itself, it does not solely depend on the heat of the water on which it travels. Newman then concluded that the temperature was of secondary importance in the production of the hurricane, while also adding the electromagnetism was an important factor. Pompeii, the island attached to Medul, had a unique and constant subtle seismic activity. Of course, this seismic activity generates piezoelectricity works, which are within strangely magnetized basalt to focus a concentrated coronal discharge skyward, which thus makes the location of Medul the ancient weather manipulation structure. Legends, myths, magic, truth and theories all surrounding Medul and they provide us with many avenues to choose from. It, however, all depends on how we want the story to come out. There is a little bit of truth in everything we say. Therefore, all legends and myths entwine with a little bit of truth. Today, research continues at Nan Madul and the tapestry of a man-made islet in Micronesia. Maybe one day, in years to come, we will learn about this strange place in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. If the mysteries, stories and theories surrounding Nan Madul intrigued you, do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. See you in the next video.